fall. The opening blows are about to be exchanged in the Arcanine. furious battle between... Arcanine is actually the best fire type Pokemon. you can get for the first fight. Arcanine has the best stats, best bulk, best speed of all the fire types combined. That's extreme speed. I have not seen Drill Peck Dodrio in a hot minute. Drill Peck Dodrio is pretty rare. Good. Crit probably didn't matter. Flamethrower Extreme Speed is the best Arcanine. In fact, I had an Arcanine set earlier this year. That was Extreme Speed Curse Flamethrower. Be pretty cool if I got that one here. Although I'm gonna have to switch now that he's gone to Gyarados. Hopefully he has Hydro Pump and misses. And it, hopefully if he doesn't have Hydro Pump, he has Waterfall because Waterfall is really weak. Donphan is not the switch I was going to. Not the switch I was hoping for. Waterfall's good. That was a crit though. Which sucks because if he didn't crit me, I would have lived that next waterfall and gotten double edge damage off or a rollout or anything. So, gonna have to live with that. Should kill. That berry did not save me. And I'm generally gonna quit if this run fails because I have zero patience for this game right now. And then you give me Anthros. 20 bucks says Hyper Beam is on the right. Because I'm going for the right move now. Waterfall's good though. Waterfall cannot kill me. It's so weak. Rain Dance. Rain Dance. If I go for Thunder Punch or Thunderbolt here, I'd be very upset. This flash better work to my advantage then. Now I might still have Bright Powder Ampharos. It's unlikely, but he has flash, so maybe. Thankfully we lived. This thunder will kill though. Here it comes, thunder! Okay. Now, I'd like to give some clarity here. I have not gotten a Randance Thunder Electric type in a long, long, long time. It has been so long since the last run I had that actually gave me Randance Thunder on the same Pokemon. Oh, it's Espeon! This is the last Pokemon! What? 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 Thankfully, Psy Beam, so I live that. I would not have lived a Psychic. Paralyze? Crit! Not a crit. But extreme speed kills now, so. The good news is we have a pretty phenomenal team right off the bat. A burst of side. We have my favorite fire type, Extreme Speed Flamethrower Arcanine. He might have Dig, he might have Iron Tail. We have Rain Dance Thunder Ampharos, which has been ages. I'm not even kidding. It's it's literally been at least 50 attempts that I've done since I've gotten a Rain Dance Thunder user. And Rain Dance Thunder is such a good combination of moves for any fight. Whoa! Extreme speed. So, having Arcanine with Extreme Speed and Flamethrower is great. Having Dawn Fan right off the bat, great. Uh, I didn't know where I found my Earthquake or not. I don't think it was left if I went for it. I don't even remember where. Like, I know I, I got crit. And then he went for Waterfall. Did I even go for an attack? I don't even remember going for an attack. Whatever. 
So, because I have no knowledge of my Donphan's Earthquake, I can't use him for the next fight. The good news is, as long as he doesn't have an Aerodactyl, I should have the coverage. I should have at least a water type with wa Bubble Beam at the very least. That can beat an Aerodactyl and then kill the rest of his team. Or a Grass type if he doesn't choose Aerodactyl. And then we just hope for the best. I want to pick Arcanine or Donphan. Just as a backup for damaging Donphan or killing Steelix. Heracross is not a good lead because he leads Aerodactyl. Ooh. Maybe we both lead Scizor. I have no way of knowing. Curse. Curse sounds like something Steelix is over there. And I was definitely the one that went for uh, Curse. So Curse is my best move because I know for a fact he's Scizor. And I want to remove his damage as much as possible in this fight. Yeah, you got that right, buddy. Alright, I'm definitely Scizor, not Heracross, because I didn't take any damage. From Sandstorm. He's going for Leer, which is good. Because the more he spends leering, the less he spends attacking. And I continue to increase my attack stat. And now we're looking for Steel Wing because it has a higher base power, or Metal Claw because it can boost my attack. If I get the attack raise. I really want to go for uh, Curse here, but I don't see any reason to. That should be Steel Wing. Like I said, I really want to go for uh, Curse again, but whatever. That's Metal Claw, which is doing less damage. They won't get a defense raise with Metal Claw. Stealing miss is bad. Can't go for Fury Curry. Fury Curter. Fury Cutter, because it's just useless. And my other attack is either Quick Attack or Swift. Maybe even Double Team. I'd much rather just keep chipping away at him with plus three stealing. Ooh, that's a crit or a kill. Wow. I'm surprised. So I'm at minus one defense, and I've taken not that much damage. I should be at like 60 or 70% health. So because of that, I actually might live two or three Earthquakes. But it goes Steelix, which is expected. I have nothing else to do but just spam Steelix. Like if he's gonna waste time going for Sandstorm, I'm cool with that. He's plus three. The white hot battle continues. Dig, dig is good. I can work around Dig. If his only attack to hit me is Dig, I can keep going for Curse on the turns where he's obviously going for Dig. A hot battle is unfolding. And because of my plus one defense, Dig's not going to be doing that much. That was a glancing blow. Glancing blow. Okay. So we curse up this turn. This is not normally how I fight this fight. This is very rare for me to, to fight this fight this way and potentially win this fight this way. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. I should be in the yellow based on that voice line. If he goes for Sandstorm right now, I do I go for double curse. And if he doesn't go for Sandstorm, then I get my curse off as normal. I should be able to live two more digs. It's hard to say. A crit would kill me for sure. And we killed a Steelix. Now, if he goes to Golem or Rhydon as his last, instead of Donphan, I think I can live an Earthquake or a Dig. I might not be able to live an Earthquake. Donphan, so. Never mind to all that. He's going to go for Earthquake. I should die to it. 
But this is a plus five stealing, so if he doesn't kill me, I kill him. Damage roll. And that killed. Maybe it was a crit, maybe not. I have never won this fight with a Curse Scissor before. This scissor is actually one of the best scissor sets ever. I've rarely gotten a scissor set that really stuck out to me, but Curse Scissor is really good. Because as long as you're not dealing with special attack users like water users, electric users, fire users, you can just curse up pretty freely and just start steel winging. Like, I never would have expected a scissor to go through that entire fight and win. And because he went for Sandstorm, I'm inclined to believe I definitely do have a Water type or a Grass type in my last two slots. I definitely should have one because there's no other reason for him to go for Sandstorm when they're going heads up against the Scizor. He's expecting me to switch by him going for Sandstorm. We want Ampharos because we have Thunder. Do we want Arcanine? Not really. Do we want Dawnfan? Definitely not. Do we want Scizor? Almost, but not quite. So I'm just going to pick my last two and hope that uh, I either get a cool water type like Psychic Starmie or Sludge Bomb Tentacruel, maybe that can stun me, or a grass type that is pretty decent like Meganium or Victory Bell. Good old Magmar. That's very rare. It's not Kabutops, it's not Omastar. That should be uh, Magmar. Actually, I could have gone for Rain Dance there. Tauros. Yeah, buddy. Fire Punch. Fire Punch is acceptable. I'll take Thrash, Earthquake, Hyper Beam even. Headbutt is okay. Body Slam, Strength. Thrash. Thrash is a 2 KO. As long as fire punches and burn. The white hot battle continues. It's crashing. Hit it's that crash. There it is. Knock out. Unfortunately, this thrash is not good because if he goes to something like Tentacruel, Tentacruel might live. Cloister would definitely live. Polytoad might live. Polyrath would live. Cloister lives, and I'd have a surf after two fire punches. It would be nice to get damage off, but it's Cloister. Cloister dies to any any special attack. Dies to like Fire Punch Typhlosion. Well, not not Fire Punch, but you know. It would probably die to Thunder Punch uh, Champ. So we're not going to get continue this fight, but cry me over. I'm not upset about that. Ampharos is a great matchup. I just wish he didn't go for uh, Surf there. Him going for Surf means I can't go for Rain Dance Thunder. I'd rather take two Surfs and miss Thunder once than Rain Dance, Thunder, and take a Surf and then a Rain Boosted Surf. I'd rather just take the chance on hitting Thunder this first time. Good. Cannot risk uh, giving him a rain boost, especially if my last is something grassy. Because if it's grassy, it loses to uh, like a Lapras finale or Aurora Beam or Vaporeon. Bite Vaporeon. Feraligator can have Dig. Or Earthquake. It's not good. Surf is fine. I can live a Surf. Might even live two, actually. Because Feraligator's not that great, especially. And my Ampharos hasn't taken any damage. I should live another Surf. Cloister Surf isn't doing that much. Feraligator Surf isn't doing that much. I should live this Surf. I might die to the next one. I might die to the next one. Nice. So 
We've got a pretty awesome team. Thrash Tauros, which I'm not thrilled about, but it's okay. Thrash Tauros is pretty good. Great speed, decent attack, great attack itself. Thrash, as opposed to like Headbutt or Stomp. This Tauros is going to see some use this game. So is my Ampharos. So is my Donphan once I find Earthquake. So is... What was my other Pokemon? My Arcanine's pretty great too. Like I have a lot of great Pokemon this, this run. Like, there's virtually no Pokemon I can pick of my five that I've found already. That would not be good in the next fight. I'm not going to pick Tauros because this next fight typically has fighting type Pokemon. I'm going to pick Ampharos lead. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I want Scizor. And it's between Donphan, Arcanine, or my last. And I really don't know. My last can still be a Psychic type. Maybe Executor exactly. So uh, I'm going to take a chance. It could also be a Flying type, though it's very doubtful because I have Scizor. And I know Scizor's not a Flying type, but Scizor... Scissor fills a niche for a lot of flying types, like Scyther. Primeape. Primeape could have Dig. I've already forgotten which Pokemon I picked. Gonna go for Thunder first. He switches. This is good. He might go to Blissey or Snorlax. Or a Rhydon. So now I hope my last is Executor. Here's the first move. That caused no damage at all. How will this but the good news is, whatever my last is, Pokemon if it's a wire type even, whatever my last is, I have a very good chance of winning this fight because Scizor just cleans up once he curses up. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's Combo Tops. Combo Tops. Not what I wanted, but acceptable. Dig. So I gotta break through and hope I have Surf or Hydro Pump on my left. So now we're gonna take a lot of Earthquakes. Dick. Mud Slap. That's good. That's a good thing to hear. Him going for Mud Slap is so comforting. Switches. What does he have? Do he have Snorlax? Oh, it's Snorlax. Does have Snorlax? Ancient power? What will it do? Here. I'm inclined to switch, but I want to learn more about this Kabutops before I do, because I needed to kill Rhydon, and I now know how to fight Rhydon. I have Surf on my down. So now, now that I've seen his entire team, the shot. Earthquake. That That's not good. Oh, I went hard into Scizor. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go hard into Ampharos and sack it to the Earthquake. Hard Scizor was not the play. Damn it. I, I clicked before thinking. I, I wanted Scizor to be a setup, not a switch in. Like, I'll take Earthquake reasonably well, but I'm not happy about it. I wanted to curse up and be at full health before he hit his first Earthquake. But I'll still be fine. Just no crits. Little damage. I think I curse up once more and start steel winging until I die. I might even be fast on Snorlax after plus two. I doubt it, but I could be. And the good news is he's not Fire Punch or something awkward like that. So now the mode of truth, how much damage I've taken. And if I'm faster. I'm not faster. But it's still a light hit. Missing there sucks. Missing there sucks really badly. Because this is my one way of killing Snorlax. Snorlax is very bulky, especially. I should live that. But I died in the next one. What's next? Great hit. 
That might have been a crit. Wow. It's very surprising. I hope he goes Primate and has Cross Chop or Dig. And either misses or doesn't kill. Although I'd sound like I'm going to die to pretty much any attack, so we'll see. Miss? That's fine. This is not the result I wanted, but this is, this can work. There's no way. I really doubt he stays in. On my Ampharos. And he's going to be going for Attract, and I don't want my uh, Kabutops to be attracted going into this. But if he goes for Cross Chop, he'll kill my Kabutops, so I'm actually going to stay in. I have nothing to lose. He'll go for Attract. I'd rather take the Attract chance and get Attracted and then not hit, because he only has Mutt Slap to hit me. I'd rather go through that than predict him to go to Ride On and switch into Kabutops. It was just not worth it if he went for Cross Chop. Like I said, I don't think he would ever go for Cross Chop there. He would almost always switch, but I had to take the chance in case he did. Like I said, I'd much rather take the chance of a track actually attracting me than uh, than actually hard switching into Kabutops and predicting the Ride On. Because at the end of the day, he's not switching. He should stay in, because he's... It's hard to say, honestly. In fact, if, if he switches hard Primate, I might lose. Because I need my Kabutops to be healthy. My Kabutops needs to kill this this uh, ride on for my Ampharos to win. So I just need to break through this turn, and he has to not switch. Damn. So I think I lose, because now he has no reason not to go hard. Hard Primate, because he did this last time. I can also miss Surf. And actually, I'm about to die, so he does stay in, for sure. I broke through, so we win. Okay. Primate Pass, not taking any primal da primer, pri pr prior damage. Not primer damage. Prior damage. He could miss Cross Chop, and that would be the biggest thing. If he misses Cross Chop this turn, I think I definitely win. He could go for Dig, which makes sense. Dig would do a lot of work here. If he has Dig, I think I just lose outright. But if I get the Surf damage off, Thunder 100% kills. And that's all I need. But he should kill me here. That mud slap dodge. Am I bright powder? And we hit sir. That's perfect. Let's get a second mud slap miss. Let's just rub it in his face. Okay. Alright, Ampharos. I've got one option for you and one option only. I genuinely don't know what this Primeape is going to do, because the smart thing to do is to Rain Dance if he's going to Mud Slap. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with that strategy. I don't think he's going to go for Cross Chop twice. I think he would much rather go for Mud Slap. He does go for Cross Chop. Well, the good news is... I might live two Cross Chops. I doubt it, but I might live two Cross Chops. And if I do, then I definitely win. He's not attracting. And he could miss. Didn't kill, so I win. I took a big risk uh, by going for Rain Dance there because I had to hope Cross Drop didn't 2 KO, and I also had to hope it didn't crit. But with the fact that it, was, it had a chance to miss. It was better to go for Rain Dance Cross Chop, assuming he hits both and doesn't crit, because apparently I lived two Cross Chops from full, which is good. I don't know, that 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 ending fight, that last exchange, I could have played it a little bit differently and probably won, but I'm not going to be upset about those results. So we have a pretty great team going into this next fight. What did I say my last was? I have Scissor, Ampharos, Tauros. What was my last? Kabutops. Kabutops is interesting in this next fight, and I do have Air, or Arcanine for the uh, the, gra the Solar Beam users. 
I'm gonna take a big risk. I think I have a continue. I have no clue if I have a continue or not, but I want to get a continue this fight for sure to make sure that I have a smooth sailing going into the next few fights. So I'm gonna lead Don Fan. I'm gonna try and find Earthquake. He has Arcanine. And then we'll go from there. I really don't remember what my left move was. I wanna say roll out. Root for Sunny Day, which is perfect. It's expected. Curse, Dom Fan. The White Hot Battle continues. I don't know what that means. Fire Blast Miss would be good here. Flamethrower. It is a 2 KO. I found a roll bar. Not great. Whirlout is not great at all. I doubted this flamethrower. It's flame wheel! I might kill with two rollouts at plus one. Doubt it though. There it is. It did! Wow. Well, I'm surprised. So that wasn't the result I was going for, but I'm not gonna complain. What sucks is I'm stuck in, so I'm gonna lose my Don fan for sure, so I'm not gonna get to continue this fight. Oh, it's executor! But I do have to be the executor. Which means there is a small chance. There's a small chance that I can crit roll out here and get a kill. Oh, he's fast. But this is good because now I just go into uh, Arcanine. That's my second, right? Ugh. If I got a Kabutops here, I'm in trouble. Sun is still up. Flamethrower, Flamethrower. Blank. Psychic. I have one more turn of Flamethrower. Which will kill Exeggutor. Even without the Sun, honestly. And now, no matter what his last is, I win the fight. The only thing that can beat me is Houndoom. If he has Houndoom, it can learn Solar Beam. And Solar Beam will obviously kill my Kabutops. And unless I have Dig, I might not be able to 3 at KO with Earth Extreme Speed. But if you just give me Victory Bell, I'll win right away. Pretty sure Victory Bell dies to Flamethrower from full. I haven't taken any damage, so Sludge Bomb can't kill me, even with a crit. So I should win this fight. It's gonna be close. And it killed. So we missed out on the continue because I found Rollout instead of Earthquake. Can you blame me? I don't remember what I found the last time I picked Dawn Fan. I remember I picked left. And I remember it saying I I did damage, so I'm pretty sure left is horn attack. That's right. Left is horn attack. Up is rollout. Down is curse. Right is earthquake. So I did not make the wrong decision with Don Fan. I made the correct decision with Don Fan. Earthquake should be on the right next time I pick Don Fan. So what are we gonna do for this next fight? Honestly? Honestly. Honestly? Honestly. Honestly? Ampharos, Scizor, Kabutops. That is phenomenal coverage. It's got my grass weakness, it's got my fire weakness. It doesn't have a phenomenal ground weakness, but of all the ground types I can deal with, the worst would be Exeggutor, or not Exeggutor, Donphan. And I can still set up curses. And I should be able to outspeed even. So this this uh this Arcanine might go for dig. Not terribly afraid of it. It does. And if he switches to a ground type, I'm going to Kabutops anyway, so I can just surf and kill Donphan. Omastar. I wouldn't kill Omastar, but I would weaken an Omastar if I did go into it. He should stay in and dig. Which is good because it's not going to do terribly much damage to my Kabutops. And I'm not going to risk going for Rollout, I'm just going to go for Surf. Ancient Power would be what I want to look for if I'm going to go for another move. I might be able to live three digs. But uh, Arcanine is also the strongest uh, fire type in the game, so I have no idea. And then he should definitely live this Surf because Kabutops is not great. And Arcanine is. 
I'm going to assume that was his berry. I'm pretty sure it's his berry, actually, because I, sh I should have Bright Powder. So that brought him below half. But if it brought him to exactly half, he lives this next hit. I actually also should have gone for a different move. I should have gone up for Ancient Power to confirm I had Ancient Power. And then used Surf. Because I forgot he was going to dig, but... At least he also found out he wasn't going to switch, because he could have also switched that turn. Could have gone hard to a grass type, and I would have gone for rollout and died. The surf should kill. I think he said surf before uh, he dug. Yeah, kill. Solid. And now there's nothing I'm afraid of. My scissor should wall every Pokemon that he can have. If he has a ground type, I go to Ampharos and sack it. Omastar, I go hard to Ampharos. Now what sucks about Omastar is Omastar is actually a threat. Because if it has Hydro Pump and it crits any of them, I'm in big trouble. But if it's one of those rare Omastars, I doubt it, but if it's one of those rare Omastars that has Icy Wind Rollout Bite, which does exist, then uh, my Ampharos deals with it just fine. It is Hydro Pump, but it didn't crit. And I should live two of those. Maybe. Doubt it. But I can't go for Rain Dance, which sucks. And I outspeed. And I hit. So now I should definitely win this fight. It's really a question of what is his last and what can I do to beat it. I'm more inclined to believe his last is a Grass type, which is great because then I can just go to any of my, my uh, Scissor. This is a similar uh, situation. I'm gonna go for Thunder first. I shouldn't die to anything. Maybe Hyper Beam. Don't die to Strength. And now I just go hard into uh, Scissor after this. Unless Thunder kills from full. Missed. Sucks. We go hard Scissor here. Curse up once and then uh, stealing our way to victory. Two Steel Wings at plus one should kill. So Curse, Steel Wings, Steel Wings should kill. So this is a... I've never had a team composition like this before. This is very interesting. Seismic Toss would be worrisome. Doesn't even have Seismic Toss, so I just went out right. He only has Strength to hit me. So now it's just a matter of how many Steel Wings can I miss. Crits aren't even going to win this fight for him. This is a very solid run so far. I really like this team. So funny story. I've had Scissor in the past, going into the 7th fight. I've had Scissor in the past, going to the 7th fight, thinking, you know, I have a Steel type. I have a Psychic Resist, a Ghost Resist, and a Dark Resist all in one. How can I possibly lose this fight? And uh, what happened was, he had an Alakazam with Fire Punch. And I lost the fight. And there was no getting past him, because I had nothing else that could damage an Alakazam and allow myself to win. So I'm in a similar predicament here. I want to lead Don Fan though, because Don Fan Oko's Gengar from the start. Does good damage to everything else. I'm not worried about Exeggutor because I have Scizor. I'm worried about Houndoom, just a tiny, tiny bit about Houndoom, but we'll see what happens. I can still deal with Houndoom. I just gotta be play my Ampharos carefully if he has Houndoom. And uh, if this run fails, this fight fails, I think I should pick Tauros, maybe, instead of Ampharos, because Tauros 2 KOs with uh, Thrash, and I might even consider picking Arcanine, because Arcanine can lift two Psychics from anything, and typically kills with extreme speed, but like I said, we're going we're gonna to start with Dawn Fan and see where the fight takes us. But Scizor is our bonafide anti non Alakazam psychic tank. Espeon lead. Okay. So, with an Espeon lead, it's pretty obvious what I do here. 
I'm actually gonna Earthquake first. I, I thought it was pretty obvious, but then I changed my mind at the last second. I want to Earthquake here first. Psybeam or Psychic? He switches. So he could have Gyarados or Charizard. That would be very scary if he had Charizard. What I could do with it. He does have Gyarados. Which is good because I do have a switch in for that. So apparently... Apparently my Dawn fan does not have Earthquake? Maybe this Dawn fan is left Earthquake, and I just never saw it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch hard into Ampharos. He has no reason to go for any move that could scare me. Hydro Pump, Waterfall, Surf. The best would be Waterfall, second best would be Hydro Pump because it can miss. And then we'll see what happens from there. Once we kill this Gyarados, Scizor should just win. Surf. Not concerned. I could go for Rain Dance here. I almost want to go for Rain Dance here, but I don't know if he's going to switch even, so. Okay. I should go for Rain Dance next turn if I miss this Thunder. Good. Him going for double team is good. It's comforting. He might start attacking now that I've gone for Thunder, but we'll see. Good. He might even double team. I doubt it, but he might even double team. The AI has been doing some pretty weird things the last times I've played it. Where uh, it went for double team on a turn it was going to die. Surf is going to do more damage too, so that might incline him to attack with Surf. And actually, it's very unlikely, but I think a crit Surf in the rain after a normal Surf might kill my Ampharos. He does go for Surf because of the rain. Did not crit. So Thunder will kill. And like I said, once this Gyarados is dead, as long as he doesn't have a Houndoom, Scissor just wins. I don't think... I don't think Ampharos can take a, a Psychic after that. I really don't think it can take a Psychic, so if he goes Espeon, I might switch. Really don't know. I think I stay in and go for Thunder anyway. He might have Psybeam. I do love Psybeam. Barely. This Thunder could crit. Didn't kill. And now we go hard. Scizor. Espeon actually does a ton of damage with Psychic, even though it's a, a resist. It really does a ton of damage, but now that I know he's Psybeam, his best attacks to hit me would be Bite, Shadow Ball, Iron Tail, Quick Attack. Obviously these aren't better than Psybeam, but those are all the off moves he can have. He could have Zap Cannon, and he's paralyzed. So now I set up. Hope he doesn't have a... Actually, I think I go hard stealing. I don't want to set up in case his last really is Houndoom. And if it is, if it is Houndoom, we're not going to get to continue. But I'm okay with that because then we just go into Dawn Fan after Scissor dies. That's assuming he has Houndoom. He could also have Umbreon, which would be amazing. I just set up on Umbreon and win. Machamp. I do with Machamp pretty well. He could have. He could have Fire Punch. That would actually suck. So I'm not even going to try and set up with Curse. He might go for Mud Slap more than anything. I'd rather get the damage off needed for Earthquake to kill. He double teams. Don't think he has Fire Punch, so I'm going to Curse up. I want to get a continue, and my, uh, my Scissor's taking no damage. So this Curse is going to be huge to survive any attack he goes for. I really don't mind doing this. I'd rather just set up a bunch of curses until I think I have enough curses to kill with one Steel Wing. He can set up as many double teams as he wants. I just need to hit one Steel Wing. He's faster than me now. I've never had Curse Scissor before. That's really cool. I really like it. It's a very solid set. It's plus four. I should be plus three now. Alright, if he just double teamed up a bunch and still has Fire Punch, he deserves to win. 
but uh, after one stealing, plus three should kill. So I just need to hit once. But seriously, if this if this Machamp has Fire Punch, he deserves the win. Ice Punch. <laughs> if he freezes me, I'm gonna feel pretty gross. This Machamp can still win. I have Rain Dance. I have Rain Dance, Thunder. So I might not lose, but I don't know what he has. He could have Vital Throw for all I know. Maybe a Dynamic Punch. I doubt it, but he could. Cross Chop. I have to bank on one of those moves missing when he goes for it on Nampharos for me to win. And there it is. We just hit and win. Good. <laughs> this is the best scissor set ever. I've never had a scissor set this cool. I really like this scissor. Curse stealing is just phenomenal. He sets up on literally every Pokemon. I can set up on whatever I want with it. I just pick a Pokemon that doesn't have a special move and I set up one curse and all of a sudden Dig is in like a Tenekeo. So what am I going to pick for my next fight? I'm kind of in the same boat as the sixth fight. I don't know why I would change that up. I thought I was going to be using Arcanine all this game between Extreme Speed and Fire Flamethrower, which is a great coverage. You know, I even thought I'd be using Donphan a fair amount, but honestly, all I need to win this next fight is Ampharos, Scizor, Utops. Now, I have a pretty weak water weakness. Like, I would actually probably lose to a, uh, a Hydro Pump Kingdra with this team. Because Kingdra 2 KOs with every Hydro Pump. So Kingdra is the only really threatening Pokemon on this against this team. That should be Porygon. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Rain Dance and then hit Thunder twice. Swift. That's even more convincing that I won this fight. So this was a pretty interesting run. I'm very happy with the result. This should be a pretty good time too. It should start. It should be like a sub 50. One of the fights went a little longer than usual, if I recall correctly. But, uh, uh, particularly that last fight went a little bit slow. Oh, okay. Didn't pick my move. Thought I did. <laughs> so the best case scenario is I crit this Thunder, because Porygon has the longest animation in the entire game. When he gets hit, he takes forever to get back into position. Like, just listening to that, that was like seven seconds of nothing happening between him waddling back into position and the rain falling. And luckily we uh, paralyzed him. And killed him. So, I don't really know what he has if he doesn't switch out Porygon. He definitely doesn't have any ground types. Typhlosion makes sense, he could have Dig. Typhlosion is actually a little bit of a threat. I think of all the Pokemon that can beat this team composition, Typhlosion is probably number 5. Because he has Earthquake. He lives! Crit or paralyze. Yes, it's a hit. And use this item to restore HP. Rain is still up too, so if I paralyze here I win. A furious attack. Okay. So, I'm gonna be taking an earthquake from a Typhlosion. But my Kabutops will live that. I might even live a crit, honestly. That will bring out a new as long as I don't go Scizor, I win. Oh, it's Good. I just had to make sure I didn't accidentally switch to Scizor, or pick a Scizor as my third instead of my second. So the rain has stopped, which bites, but I should live an Earthquake. Surf will kill for sure after Thunder. Good. 
And there's nothing on the end I'm afraid of. If he goes to a grass type, Scizor wins. If he goes to a special user, like an electric type, an electric user, I could lose. In fact, that's just about the only thing that can be me right now is an electric type Pokemon. So that sucks, but we'll see what happens. Muck. Muck could have. Muck could definitely have Fire Punch, which would suck. This Muck has Fire Punch or Flyer Blast or Flamethrower, I could lose. But because he has Giga Drain, I severely doubt he has Fire Punch. He m might have Thunder Punch, he might have Ice Punch. But I have no reason to suspect he would have Giga Drain, Sludge or Sludge Bomb, and Fire Punch. There's just no way he can get that kind of coverage. He might have Curse, he might have Double Team, Minimize. Any number of things going on for him. There was no reason for me to curse up. His best attack to him would be Dynamic Punch or Fire Punch. I'd rather just hit Steel Wing and kill him with a crit. Didn't kill him. <laughs> Thief. So we win. This is a good run. I really like the Scizor. I was very impressed by it. And there it is. So that was a good run. I'm very happy about that run. I'm glad I decided to do one more today. I've been on a bad streak since yesterday. You're gonna see when I get to the end. I'll have like a ton of uh well, sub 47 is amazing. Uh my first time that I ever beat this game was a 46, 56. So this was almost better than my first ever time. 47 12 on the nose. So, there's not much to say. I was super pleased with uh, Scizor, Raindance, Ampharos, and Kabutops. That was just a great core. Having Curse was the biggest factor. Like, I've never had a Curse Scizor, and that was really cool. Like, I'm really surprised. Every Pokemon I got here was a Pokemon I would use. Every single Pokemon. Thrash Tauros, Earthquake, Curse, Donphan. Extreme Speed, Flamethrower, Arcanine, like, those are amazing movesets. Eight tries, by the way. Ever since yesterday, I did like three or four attempts yesterday, and then I did like three or four today. And only this one made it through. So, I'm actually thankful that that at least worked out. But, um... <laughs> oh, man. That was... That was a lot of stress. I had a lot of runs die before this one. And uh, this was a really good time, really good team. Literally, every Pokemon was great. I have not had a Randance Thunder user in ages. I've had so many Thunder Punch users, so many Thunders with Hyper Beams, and, and Leers, Tail Whips, Flashes, so many stupid movesets on Ampharos, on Electabuzz, on Jolteon. Not a single Randance. And the one that I finally do get Randance for, I win it all. I guarantee you it is because of Randance. Randance Thunder is such a good combination to have. So uh, I'm really happy with this run. Not much else to say. Really happy with Curse Scizor. That was cool. So I just want to make one quick announcement. Uh, you may all be aware of it, but this week, Saturday, over the course of the weekend, this weekend, August 4th through 6th, there's going to be the Pokemon Speedruns Marathon. I will be in it. I will be there Saturday, 8 o'clock. I'll be uh, streaming Blindfold Master Cup. hey -o. It's going to be pretty great. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad I got that bad luck streak out of me from yesterday and today because I really need to <laughs> get all the bad levels out of me, bad Pokemon, bad luck out of my way, so that when I go to my run on this Saturday, 8 o'clock, August 5th, that night, it's right after Sapphire and it's just before Fire Red Round 2, I'll be doing Pokemon Stadium to Challenge Cup Master Ball blindfolded. And I'll be wearing this cool little uh, Snorlax... Uh, blindfold thing going on so uh really thank you for uh, watching uh if you want to check out the schedule for the pokemon speedruns marathon that'll be my youtube video down below that'll be a schedule in your time zone and i'll also have a link to the channel where all the speedruns will be going live so be sure to check that out and uh thanks for watching peace out